request is to use simple argument because we want to capture the physical essence of Chandrasekhar as well. So Chandrasekhar, he at the age of 19, he had, um, he was a genius. At the age of 19, he had learned many, many things in school, many things which many of us learn much later. So Chandrasekhar, when very famous story when he was going from Mumbai to uh, London by ship, he had already done many calculations which people uh, do much later. So we will not be exactly going to Chandrasekhar's work because we did a lot of work. But we want to understand what the basic physics of Chandrasekhar. So therefore, we will now straight, so you can use this equation for sun and do many of the things. Sun is a relatively simple form. But Chandrasekhar was interested in why power. Why was why go up so important? So let me tell you a little bit about, see after all science is about experiments and observations. Science is not just doing mental uh, imagination, putting mathematics, those are all nice. But ultimately, your mathematical analysis should pertain to real world. So why was Chandrasekhar interested in these things called white dwarf? The reason was that white dwarfs were discovered later. Why was it discovered later? That also, there is a reason. There is a star for Sirius. You know, when you look at the Kalpush or the Orion, there is another star which people have imagined being top. So, not that's right. So, uh, one of the stars, Sirius, it looks like a single star to us, but when people looked at the star with powerful telescope, so as science progresses, your observing power, vision power, simply looks at one point when people looked at Sirius through powerful telescope, they found that actually it's a double star. There is this star which we see as serious, but there is a very faint star. Anyone who should look into the how faint it, how small it is. It's very tiny. And people started looking at it. Astro subject of astrophysics is using known laws of physics to understand objects in astronomy. So people started asking, okay, what is the temperature of that? How do you measure the temperature of a star? What you do is that most stars, you can approximate their emission as black body emission. So you take the spectrum and from that spectrum, you can judge what is the temperature of the star. Now, what people found is it's very faint, but the temperature is very high. If temperature is high, at the same time it is very faint, what does it mean? That luminosity, total amount of radiation per unit time is small. But total amount of radiation per unit time should depend upon what? It should depend upon surface energy uh, plus multiplied by the total surface area. So total surface area is 4 pi r square. 4 pi r square. And if it's a black body, Stefan law. Stefan law says that Radiation emitted per unit area per unit time is sigma t to the power 4. So sigma t to the power 4 times surface area is a luminosity. But it's so faint, so therefore temperature is high. But it's faint, that means radius must be small. So it's a very tiny object. And once they found out this tiny, and because of the double star, Sirius and the other stars, they were going around each other. Whenever you have binary system going around each other, you can also estimate the mass because of the Kepler's law. Kepler's law will tell you that the time period of p square is proportional to d q. So proportionality constant gives you the mass of the object. So from basically d square by r, d square by r must be equal to g n by r square. From that. If you know period, d square with period that you can find out that uh, mass. So mass was found out. Mass was something like 0 0.06. So 
So Ramana said something. The radius was small. The people found out that the density, the density turned out to be huge. The density turned out to be of the order of 10 to the 6 grams per centimeter cube. It's a huge density. You know what is density of sun? Density of sun is very small. It's about few grams per centimeter cube. You can be able to find out here. Mass is there, radius is there. You can estimate. You can estimate one. So Ramana is divided by 4 pi by 3 r cube. You can estimate it's few grams per centimeter cube. But why not so dense? And you apply the physics, you say that okay. People had already done some theoretical calculation that as the star evolves, the nuclear fusion that takes place first, main sequence stars, four effectively four proton combined form one helium. Then helium will combine to form higher atoms like carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen. And once you have oxygen and carbon in the core of the star, and it's so dense, the electrons must become degenerate. What is this word degenerate? So this next step is I'll go into what is degeneracy, what is uh, Fermi pressure. That I'll go into now. So, but before that. You will go into all that because there is a problem in experimental observation. The problem is that you have a white star which is very small. The density is 10 to 6 grams per centimeter cube. At such density, no longer the electron can be thought of as sticking to one nucleus. There is whole electrons, they see a whole potential of due to many, many nucleus. That's why the electrons are called degenerate. The electron doesn't know that it is, belongs to this nucleus or that nucleus. That they are crushed. The atoms are touching each other. So roughly 10 to the power 6 gram means that carbon and oxygen atoms are touching each other. So the electron doesn't know does it belong to this atom or does it belong to the other atom. So they are almost touching each other. That's why such electrons are called degenerate. But once you have such high density, for astrophysics, you have to use quantum mechanics. Normally, you would say that quantum mechanics is all about microscopic things. But that's not true. Quantum mechanics is always true. Quantum mechanics is fundamental. Quantum mechanics, in a way, also explains classical physics. Of course, there are certain fundamental issues there. But quantum mechanics is a reality. Classical mechanics is only an approximation. So, there is no Surprise that at some stage quantum phenomena starts appearing for astrophysical objects. And Chandrasekhar, at the age of 19, they had already learned quantum mechanics, they had already learned statistical mechanics, and they had learned on his own. The age of 19 itself, he had mastered many subjects that were being discovered during his time. 